welcome back to Silk Oil of Morocco UK. Today I'd like to talk to you about the lipsticks that Silk Oil of Morocco do. There's 14 different shades and this is what they look like. From pinks to browns to reds, there is a colour for absolutely everybody and I'm going to take you through every single colour and show you what they look like. These lipsticks are all vegan and they're packed with certified nourishing ingredients such as cold pressed argan oil, shea butter, jojoba oil, castor seed oil and orange essential oil which helps to keep your lips feeling really really nourished because sometimes lipsticks can really dry out your lips and leave you with cracks and quite sore after you wear them. So these lipsticks are great on the lips. The colours are fantastic and they last. They're, they're almost a matte finish, they're not like a shine loose finish, they're much more of a matte finish so they sit really really nicely and if you want to highlight them there's plenty of lip glosses to go on top. I like to pair a lipstick and a lip gloss but with these they just create such a lovely colour you just don't want to mute it at all. So I'm going to take you through all 14 different colours, um, give you their names uh, let you see me put them on and see what they look like. I've gone for the plainest colour top I can so nothing clashes um, but yeah you'll see what they all look like now. Right number one is Moroccan Watermelon. This is the colour and this is me putting it on. As you can see this is a really really bright colour which doesn't really go with my tan because I've just been away and I'm quite tanned but it's a really, really fun colour. It probably would suit somebody better with blonde hair, but you know, for a bit of fun, or you know, if you really want to brighten your look up, then it's perfect. Okay, the next colour we're going to go for is Moroccan Blossom. This is a, it's, it's almost a very, very pale, purpley colour. You can see that. I'm going to pop that one on now. As you can see, very, very natural colour really really simple, really light and pretty. It's a very pretty colour so that one is rather nice, probably for a like a wedding or just just something a little bit fancy where you want to have a little bit of colour on your lips. Okay the next colour we're going to go for is Moroccan Bronze. This is a really really nice brown colour but very very pale. Um, I'm going to pop this one on. It's almost got like a shimmer to it which is a really really nice finish. You could wear this one out, you could wear this for day wear, there's not really Going to be a specific, there's not really going to be a specific event for this one. As you can see, it's just got like a shimmer finish, it's really quite simple, almost like a nude, but with just with that little bit of extra sparkle to it. So, really, really pleased with that one. Okay, the next colour we're going to do is Moroccan Butterscotch. This is again a little bit of a briny, pinky finish, very, very natural, and it's a little bit pinky, but then it's very muted, so it's not particularly bright. So there you go. As you can see, really, really muted, really, really calm colour. Just adds a little bit of depth to your lips and it's just a block of colour, just in case you've got any lighter or darker patches. But really, really simple. Probably gonna be perfect for day wear. Um, but yeah, goes on really nicely. The next colour we're going for is a little bit daring. This is called Moroccan Tangerine. Almost a match to my nails. This is very orange and very bright and probably not everybody's cup of tea. There is one more, there's two in this range, Moroccan Tangerine and Moroccan Flair, and they're very, very much orange, very bright. So let's see how it goes on. I actually really like that. It's, it almost comes out with a bit of a red, even though it very much looks like it's orange. But I quite like that, it's quite a fun colour for the summer. If you're wearing something that's a little bit colourful and you want to add your lips into the game, really quite nice. Okay, moving on to the other bright orange we've got. This is Moroccan Flair. My nails quite nicely actually. So let's give this one a go. Again, this is an orange a lot brighter than the previous colour. But again, you know, it could be quite fun for summer, bright colours on the lips, it just makes an outfit. Again, really liking that one. It's um, it's very colourful. It's kind of a mixture between pink, red and orange. I can't even work out, I'm just looking in the mirror now, I can't really work out what the colour is, but I really quite like it. It's really piercing, it's really bright. The lipstick itself feels really matte on my lips. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel like it's gonna rub off. It feels really secure on my lips. So yeah, that colour's staying. Okay, so let's go for a daring one. Moroccan Flamingo. This is very, very pink. 
let's see how this one goes on. That's very pink. I quite like it though. It's not that none of the colours are too harsh. They're just quite fun and they sit the lipstick's so lovely, it doesn't, it's not too glossy, it doesn't shine the colour and I just think it's quite, um, yeah the colour sits really nicely, I'm really pleased with that. So this is the Moroccan Flamingo, so this is probably, probably the brightest pink there is, but there is one more pink which is a little bit duller um, if you want something slightly more tame, um, which I will try next. Okay, so this is the other pink. It's slightly duller, it's not as bright as the previous pink, but it's still pretty exciting. It's also got a bit of a shimmer to it. This is Moroccan Starburst. And let's have a little look what this looks like on. I think this is gonna be a bit deeper in color. That's a really nice color. So that's probably nearing on one of my favorites, Moroccan Starburst. It's just really, it's pink, but it's not too in your face, and it's quite natural, so you could wear this for day wear. It's not too much. Really liking that one. So the next one we're gonna try is Moroccan Sherbet. This is a very, very muted color. It's almost skin tone, so if you like to put tension away from your lips, then this is probably the color for you if you just want a muted lipstick to pop on. Okay, as you can see, this is very, very light. I don't think it necessarily works with my skin tone but on paler skin it could look really really nice. Just very nude, a little bit of blusher on, highlight the eyes and just have a really really simple plain lip. That would work really nicely. Okay the next colour we're going to try is Moroccan Peach. This again is a very pinky colour, it's slightly more muted than the brighter pinks we've been looking at. A little bit more of a day wear colour and we're going to have a little look at what that looks like on. Okay so that's the Moroccan Peach, very natural, very light, very pretty very girly, yeah it's a, it's a really nice colour, it's very, um, it's not very in your face, it's very gentle which is nice but it just draws a little bit of attention to the lips, gives the appearance that they're slightly bigger than they are, which every girl wants, and yeah really really quite a natural pretty colour. On to the last of our sort of muted pinky colours and then we move on to reds which are by far my favourite, um, this is the Moroccan Fudge see that colour. So it's a brownie, it's a brownie pink, um, it's very 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 toned down, it's not very bright, um, it's sort of a, it's verging on being a little bit brownie but probably quite a simple colour for the day. Yeah, as you can see a very gentle colour, it is reasonably dark but it's not very in your face, it's very, it's, it's there but it's not too intense really quite pleased with that colour, it looks quite nice with my skin tone so someone with more of a tan this would look really nice with but it just feels um, it just feels like I'm not really wearing lipstick this colour, it's, it's kind of just highlighting what I've already got which is quite nice. Okay, now we're moving on to my last three favourite colours, this is Moroccan Valentine, this is a very very bright red so this is probably evening wear, party wear, special occasion wear just to really highlight those lips but this is a very very rich bright red it's not muted it's not dulled it's very bright and i love it i love red lipstick red lipstick makes the dullest outfit stand out you feel brighter you feel sexier it really makes an impact on how you feel so this color i really really enjoy it's very bright but for a special occasion or a night out that's what you want you want to stand out you want to look and be noticed so this color is um yeah probably my second favorite okay this is the darker of the three reds this is moroccan velvet so it's it's red but it is verging on a much deeper red and a lot of a, and a much darker color so this again probably would be evening wear probably not day wear so this is probably one of the darker colors Silk Oil of Morocco do. I really like it. Red lipstick is, is my thing. It makes me feel powerful, it makes me feel strong. I walk into a meeting and I'm wearing red lipstick. You feel like you're just, you're there. So this colour is, I, I find it quite sophisticated. It's quite a rich, deep colour. Um, the other reds are a little bit more fun and party-ish, whereas this is a bit more of a take me seriously colour. And I just think they look really lovely and they feel great on my lips. My lips are really not dry at all. 
Okay, so this is my last and most favorite color of the whole collection. This is Moroccan Poppy. This is a red. It's not as bright as the first red we looked at. It's not as dark as the last red we just looked at. It just sits in the middle. It's a really, really nice, fresh color. It's it's almost, describe, I, I describe it as a blood red. It's very, um, it's very pigmented. It's got very, it's rich without being too dark and it's bright without being too light. So it sits right in the middle of both of the other colors and both of the other reds we looked at. But I personally, this is my favorite. This is for day wear. If I wanna wear red lips and brighten up an outfit or feel special, this is the one I will go for. That is me done for the day now. This is my absolute favorite color. As you can see, it's really rich, it's really pretty. It's not too much, it's just enough with day wear to brighten, brighten the day up. So I'm through all 14 of the lipsticks. They are all gorgeous. I've just tried 14 on in one go and my lips feel absolutely fine if that's anything to go by. These lipsticks tend to last a good four or five hours before you need to look at reapplying. Obviously if you're eating or you're drinking, it's a different matter and you will need to reapply. But with regards to moisture and coverage, they're perfect, there's no cracks, there's no gaps. It doesn't go on very thickly so you aren't gonna be left with movement and they just wear really, really nicely. So if you guys wanna have a look at the colors and pop on over to our website, which will be linked in the box below. And if there's anything else you wanna hear about, talk about or reviewed, let me know, I would love to do it for you. See you guys next week and thanks very much for watching, bye.